Hey everyone, um, how are you doing? I'm gonna try to get a little closer. There we go. How's everybody doing? I uh, hope everybody's having a great day today. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, um, struggling right now. Um, it's one of those where you feel like you're, it's like, yay, good day. And then the afternoon rolls around and then you start feeling it again. That's where I'm at. So, uh, hey, Donnie. Um, so we are going to finish the look um, and I'm going to tweak my eyes a little bit. Um, you're going to see what a difference mascara makes. <laughs> hey, Anna, um, we do have on, um, or I do have on the contour. Uh, I contoured my cheeks with um, the Cut One palette, um, which makes a big difference. Um, and hey, Cindy. And um, now, so the two eyeshadows that I do have on, are these two right here, which is Peachy and Core. Those are the ones I have on, which are great. Hey, Paula. Hey, I'm on the, I mean, I'm on the men to get better. It's just one of those where you've been sick for so long, like it takes, you can't bounce back like full day. Like I, this morning I was like, yay, it's over. Now, not so much. Okay. Um, I think I am going to use the line. Oops. The Lion King. Um, but we did already contour. Um, I did not use uh, any like eraser, X out, concealer. I would sh I just flat out airbrushed um, to show you the full coverage that you can get with Luminous. And um, so if you don't need a lot of coverage, don't add it. You can just get it with the with the foundation itself. What are, what the like X out eraser, CC concealer, um, the color correctors, what those are going to do. It's give you that step. Hey, Barbara, it's give you, yay, Kathy. It's giving you that step up in coverage. So it's just getting you ahead of the game for, um, for your coverage. And so there are days that yes, I'm going to need more coverage today. I was like, I just want to go straight airbrushing and that's what it is. Cause I don't think I've ever done that where I just want to like go straight airbrushing. Um, normally we add a little bit more. Uh, so it was good to see how much coverage you can get with just airbrushing. All right. So now I'm going to go in and let's do, I'm putting a little kit together over here. I'll do this one. I think. Ooh, maybe I'll do this too. Because with these, I mean, the I cannot tell you the possibilities are endless. Okay, so I do have Peachy and Core on right now. And then the two that I'm looking to add are Indigo and Coffee Bean. Those two. And so right now, you know, it's kind of a neutral color. It is very... Um, pigmented guys. Um, if you didn't see, go back to watch the 11 o'clock. I literally put my finger in the palette and went like that, showed you the, what's on my finger to show you the intensity. And you didn't even see my fingerprint in the palette. Um, that's how intense it is. Um, and then even doing the little bit that I did, I still had to blend, um, because it's so, so pigmented. Um, I used the silk, Kathy, the Silk 4-in-1 in shade 3. All right, so now I'm going to go in. Um, where's my little guy? Where's my little guy? There he is. All right, so I'm going to go in, and I think I'm going to add... I'm going to add a little bit of the indigo, which is the blue... Ooh, you know what I can do with that one? I was going to put it on my lid, but I'm not. I think, no. This indigo to kind of change things up. Oh, my goodness, Barbara. Barbara, 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 Barbara. We need to talk, girl. Barbara has had her luminous for over six months now and has never used it. Barbara. It is not making you look younger sitting in that box on the counter. It is not 
doing your skin any justice sitting on that box in the counter. It is not making you feel beautiful with wearing 10 times less makeup sitting in a box on the counter. All right. So get it out, girl. Get it out. Think about why you ordered it. Why did you order it? Did you want to look 10 years younger? Did you want to not have that heavy makeup cakey feeling? Did you want to look natural? Whether you like light coverage, heavy coverage, it doesn't matter. You got it for a reason. And remember that when you open the box, it is all put together. The hose is connected to your stylus that's connected to the compressor. All you have to do is plug it into the wall unit, okay? That's all you have to do. And then get this bad boy out and play with it. Put water in here. Have fun. Just spray your face, but have fun with it. It is not as difficult as what you're thinking about in your head. I, and I know. I mean, I would say that probably 99% of us are like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. If I that ha That's why we started these live chats is that you can come on board use it and experience it and see how amazing it is. Guess what? You're not going to be the expert the very first time you use it. I'm telling you that right now, Barbara. But after you use it, we tell people to use it seven days in a row. By that seventh day, you'll have it down and you'll be kicking yourself that it wasted time, that you wasted time letting it sit in a box. Okay. Think about that. You are not pulling on your face, putting makeup and and putting it in the pores and everything. I mean, you're able to spray this on. It is a touchless application and have fun with it. It is makeup. Barbara, if you totally screw up, guess what? Wash it off. It is not. I'm not going to say, no, keep that on for seven days. That's your punishment. You messed up. You have to wear it for seven days. No, <laughs> wash it off. But you're going to realize how easy it is because the three things you want to remember when you're airbrushing is number one, hold it about four finger widths away. This is about the best dif distance for you to airbrush. Then barely pull back on this trigger. That's the key right there is just barely pull it back. You do not want to see it go on. And then you want to keep going all over your face. That's why I say practice with water because then you'll get that movement down. Hey, Susan. Then you'll get that movement down and get the routine down before putting on the foundation. But come back, talk to us, let us know how it goes and have fun. And just like everybody says, you'll love it. And I guarantee you, you're going to be kicking yourself that you waited this long to do it. Okay. But that's what I'm here for. That's what we are here for. And so come back and let us know any problems that you're having and just have fun with it. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to put a little bit of indigo on this flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to line the bottom. I know Barbara's going to be our biggest fan once she gets it down. She's going to be like, ah, what did I do? What did I do? That's what you're going to do. That's what I do with my daughter when she's like telling me something. She's so dramatic. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. We're a little dramatic at our house. I know that surprises all of you because I'm such the wallflower. All right, so I just lined underneath my eyes with the indigo, which is the ze blue. So now I have these colors. And then now with coffee bean, I'm going to do it in that crease. And I could use a gray. I could use the black. I'm just using coffee bean, hoping it will give me some caffeine. Just kidding. All right, so now I'm going to go itty bitty crease right here. Just bloop, 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 bloop. And I'm not really, I mean, I'm just kind of putting it on there, not blending quite yet. I just want to get the pigment that I want. Okay. And then now I can go back with my bigger brush, my bigger blender brush, and go in and blend that bad boy. If you want to bring it over a little bit more, you can. Okay. 
but I'm just going to blend out that sharp edge. So just see how that made such a difference. And that's what we're talking about, like creating depth and creating, um, that's part of contouring because I'm creating more depth, more, um, um, dimension, even just to my eyes to make them pop a little bit more. Okay. All right. So these four colors are the ones that I used which were coffee bean, indigo, core, and peachy. Those were the four colors that I used today. All right. So real simple eye. You got a couple of looks out of it. You could even add a little bit of blue to the lid. So many different ways of putting this on. Guys, I'm so excited about these. I cannot even stand it. I'm so excited. All right. So now I'm going to add a little bit of... Um, my Lion King. I cannot get away from Lion King. Cannot. Thank you, Muzi. Cindy, it's your birthday too? So I'm adding a little bit of the Lion King to um, there. And then now I'm going to... Where's my... I know I'm looking at it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm going to curl my lashes. Curling your lashes, guys, makes a huge difference. And now I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. underneath and I love this brush because there there's so many different like sides angles ways to really get in there and get mascara where you need it but then get a lot of mascara on but not look like spider eyes And there we go. There, there we go. Um, now I can go in. Whoops. I'm going to go back with the um, the neutral lip. Again, loving this lip. I'm obsessed with these guys. Obsessed. I want big pouty lips today. There we go. I love these because they're so shiny um, and so pigmented. So I don't necessarily like, I mean, I haven't been on a, liquid, a, a lip liner in a while, um, but they're so pigmented. The only reason I would put on a lip liner is it does help everything stay in place, um, which is very important. You want everything to stay in place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys, you have been awesome. So glad to be back. <laughs> um, I'm still going to bed early <laughs> so I can get over this. Um, and we will see you very soon. Cindy, happy birthday. I hope you have a great day today. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, hope you have a great day. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow at 10. All right. Bye for now, guys.